Hey, it's Ken Barrett Laundromat How To. Uh, recently, there was a discussion about how much gas it actually, or how much it really costs to run a dryer for a cycle. You know, we we set a price for it, but is it really based on facts or just numbers people have assumed and got used to? So, came up with an idea to try and determine actual gas usage in the dryers. And uh, as you may be aware, I mean, the gas meter, the gas valve turns on and off throughout the cycle depending on the temperature so it's not on continuously like electrical power would be so what I ordered is uh, an hour meter and just show you this is actually designed to mount in a panel I looked at a few different ones and basically I got down to what was what was the cheapest one so this is a, a a timer so as long as there's voltage applied to it then the timer will run and then it's got a reset button on the front right here we got a reset button so it's you know, when you, after you're done trying one, you reset it and go to the next one. <clears throat> so what I've done is uh, took a set of alligator clip leads, a little set of jumpers. Um, years ago when I was in maintenance, we used to carry these around with us all the time. I always had this saying, it said, you know, if you can't figure it out, jumper it out, get things running, and we'll uh, fix what we need to later on. But that was back in the day. So. Um, so what I've done is cut that in half and just put it onto here. We connect that down. This is actually a, a remote reset if you wanted this mounted in a panel somewhere and you wanted it to time up but then be able to reset it um, at, you know, remotely or with a different control. So that's on there and we got our, our clips on here. So what I'll be able to do is take this and actually connect it to the, the gas valve where it gets the electrical splice. When the, the dryer turns on the gas valve, this is gonna start timing. That's the plan, we'll find out if it works. So that'll start timing. When it reaches the temperature and shuts the gas valve off, this will stop and hold that time. <clears throat> and then when it comes on again, it will continue to add on that time. So in a half an hour cycle, we'll be able to determine how much, how long the gas valve was on. And then we'll dig in deeper to find out how much gas actually gets used with a certain amount of time. That's, that's calculation and still got to determine. But in my stores, I've got a variety of different machines. Um, some are, are brand new, they were just put in this year. Um, other ones are 15 years old, different makes, different models. So we can get a real good comparison between the old ones and the new ones. And, uh, you know, really just see what the numbers, what the numbers show us. So that's on my, my plan for the next week or so. And, uh, just putting the piece together here, I'll probably try something around the house just to make sure it works. And, uh, then I'll dive into it in a couple of days. So check it out then and see what happens.